Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, I'm working a little bit more with my uh, Beretta CX4 today. And um, basically, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm specifically I'm working on the, on, on the zeroing aspect of it. Uh, and the zero that I'm using is, um, uh, I'm using an 18-yard an zero, okay, which is giving me a second zero at 75 yards. And I did a prior video on this. Now, in the, in the first video that I did, um, I was using the, uh, the Winchester steel case ammo. And uh, the reason I, I picked that is that was, you know, it was running at one of the higher speeds. Because when I tested the, um, the um, Winchester steel case in the Glock uh, 17, uh, that was giving me a speed of uh, 1184 uh, feet per second, okay, uh, which comes out to 358 foot pounds. So what I wanted to do today is I wanted to run uh, some slower ammunition uh, through this rifle and see if, if, if this zero would still be good enough out to uh, the 110 yards. So I'm using the Federal Aluminum um, and in the Glock 17 I had clocked that at uh, 1111, okay, 1111, uh, and that was giving me an energy of 315 foot pounds, okay, out of the Glock 17, okay. So basically, uh, 358 foot pounds versus 315. Okay, so th so this ammunition is a little bit slower, um, and I ran it through the chronograph today using the rifle, the Ber the Beretta CX4 rifle, um, and uh, basically I clocked it at 1282. Okay, 1,282 feet per second, uh, which yields an energy of 420 foot pounds. Okay, uh, as compared to the um, uh, the Winchester steel case, which was uh, coming in at around, uh, well, let's see, the, the highest measure, and that was uh, 1372, uh, which gave me 480 foot pounds. Okay, so basically, there's a difference between these two, uh, of about of these two different ammunitions of about 60 foot pounds. Okay, so so this one's going a bit slower, um, and uh, I want to see if if, if, if that 18 uh, 1875. Uh, Zero would would basically allow me to get on paper out at the 110 yards. Uh, so I, I didn't bother with the closer ranges. For basically, I knew I'd basically I'd be able to hit the, you know get on the paper. Uh, my main concern is would I be able to get out on the paper at the 110 yards? Okay, so um, basically, this is my first group. Okay. Um, now basically, what I'm doing here with these groups is uh, I was my red dot. Okay, basically goes at the top edge of the paper so i'm splitting the red dot uh at the top edge of the paper uh and that's giving me about about a four inch drop okay so basically it was a six shot group so i got one two three four there's two there's pretty much two bullets side by side there and five one bullet off the paper presumably came someplace a little high up here okay uh so basically this is what my group so basically it did not drop that much um, you know, compared to the uh, the, the Winchester uh, steel case, which was going a little bit faster, and I did a second one. Okay. And this is the second one that I did. Again, this is at 110 yards, and basically my red dot. I'm splitting the red dot right along the top edge of the paper. Um, I had one that came really low. I'm going to say that, that I'm going to call that bad ammo. I don't remember pulling the shot, uh, but basically again, uh, it's coming in about four inches low. So, so you know, the the uh, the eighteen seventy five yard zero is, is basically working with the slow ammo. And then what I did is I did a final one. On the final one, what I did is is uh, I put my red dot right in the center of the paper. Okay, so I hold, put it right in the center of the paper, and you know I wanted to see if I would get on the paper and basically. Uh, you know, because basically I saw that when I was, when I was, zero, you know, when I had the red dot up here, um, you know, at least one of them was coming a little high. So I said, let me hold center and see if I can get all six on the paper. And what I did is I got one, two, three, four, five hits. Uh, so one probably went low or off to the left a little bit because we do have some wind today, you know, somewhere between 15 and 20 miles to the left. So, so, you know, we're getting gusts, so it's pushing. So basically, again, I lost one round. Uh, but again, with holding... Holding the red dot right in the center of the paper, I was able to keep all the rounds on the paper. Um, so I really like this 18-yard uh, zero 
which gives, you know first zero at 18 yards, which give me gives me a second zero at 75 yards, uh, because basically I'm able to basically put the red dot center mass, and I will be able to hit my target all the way out to 110 yards. Okay, and probably a little bit beyond that. I wouldn't go too far beyond it because. These things are going to start opening up, so maybe after 120, 130 yards, I might be able to, you know, to hit my targets. Um, so, so, you know, this is the zero that I'm going to stick with, the 1875, and that's that's what I'm going to recommend to you guys. Uh, and it, it seems to be working pretty good with both the faster uh, ammunition and the slower ammunition. You know, keeping everything, you know, center mass, or, you know, basically on the paper, as, as you guys saw. So, uh, thanks for watching. Post some comments. Uh, hit that like button or thumbs up button. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Hey guys, uh, one more important thing I want to add is uh, on this uh, uh, Beretta CX-4 rifle, I basically have my, my red dot co-witness to the iron sights that come with the rifle. Then basically I have them collapse. So the red dot is sitting right on top of the rail. I'm not using a riser. Um, so that's important because if you are using a riser, that's going to change the arc and basically, um, you know, the numbers that I gave you, that I've been giving you guys will not, uh, uh, will not work out as well. So basically my 1875 yard zero uh, is based on, on, on basically using a red dot uh, that's co-witnessed to the iron sights, okay? Um, you know, normally I think in an AR-15, the, the, the sights sit a little bit higher. I think the, these sit about two inches above the bore. Um, I think the AR-15 sits about two and a half inches, close to maybe even two and three quarter inches um, uh, above the bore. Okay, talk to you guys next time.